if you have any broadband connection you must have heard some terms like tier 1 network tier 2 isp tier 3 isp or upstream or downstream so in this particular video i'm going to talk about what is upstream and what is downstream what is tier 1 tier 2 isp in terms of networking so without further delay let's jump into the topic If you want to take new broadband connection or fiber broadband connection then you must have to check top 15 facts before taking any broadband connection if you have not watched that video i have given the i button do check out so in main topic is what is upstream and downstream before going to the networking concept i want to share our daily life concept what is our daily life concept we all know if you are coming from the indian subcontinent or india anywhere you may see that in your home there is one drain small drain or draining system is there from there your water is coming out then that water is going to the main hydrant of your city then this main hydrant of your city will meet to the nearest river from then the water from the river will come one by one river to the nearest sea and that sea also meets some bigger area that is ocean water from your home then city then river then sea then ocean this concept applies to networking also how here this is the main isp or how tier 1 tier 2 and what is your upstream upstream is basically a bigger isp suppose if you are using any xyz broadband connection or local cable broadband connection that is your small drain from there your data connection will not reach to the foreign country like singapore usa how it will reach it will come to the main server of your xyz connection for you are coming from delhi mumbai kolkata then your main city of like delhi mumbai kolkata server that is your city host or city server from their gateway it will reach to the main tier 1 isp or the upstream upstream is nothing but tier 1 isp or the bigger internet service provider xyz is also internet service provider but it is not as big that it has direct fiber connection under the sea so this is basically the architecture or the diagram how your broadband or fiber optic connection comes to your home so here you can see the receiver one receiver to this may be your home or this may be your friend's home so we are the client of the end user of the internet right now so and then this small this small switch router may be your local area cable operator in your area or in your city then this local area cable operator internet goes through this backbone cable to the main city so here you can see maybe just think this is a Tikona broadband server so as i already said Tikona broadband cannot connect directly to the other country but we have to connect the upstream isp maybe this upstream isp is vsnl or varti airtel or reliance communication tata teleservices this kind of top companies of internet so this is the internet for india let's take it about tata teleservices this one so if you are going to connect to the Singapore, there may be a Singapore top ISP is there or the main one. Then your upstream may be there downstream. So here you can see this is going to be downstream. So from there, their local city cable operator, then local area operator, then their home, maybe your friend living in Singapore. In this way, you are talking with your friend. Now let me show you one example. Here you can see this is the tier 1 ISP. So this is Singapore, Singtel, Star Hub, as I said, this is the Singapore, Australia, many one there, China is there. So let me talk about India. So this is the Varti. Varti means Varti Airtel Limited. Reliance means not Reliance Geo. Reliance means Reliance Communication. Reliance Geo is not tier 1, but Varti Airtel is tier 1. Then the Tata and VSNL, Tata Teleservices and VSNL. This two is now the same thing. Tata Teleservices and VSNL are the same thing. So in this way, total internet works and you can check who is your tier, your upstream or the tier 1 provider. Here you can see I am now using the as an example or he.net this is the very good website here you will get 
द लिस्ट सो हेर यू कैन सी आई एम नाउ यूजिंग टिकोना इनफिनिट और टिकोना ब्रॉडबैंड फ्रॉम बेंगालुरु सो हेर यू कैन सी देयर आप स्ट्रीम इज राइट अवे रिटेन हेयर सो नाइन एट सो दे आर यूजिंग फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ देयर ट्राफिक थ्रू हर्ट दे आर टेल लिमिटेड देन दे आर यूजिंग ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट यूजिंग टाटा कम्युनिकेशन और वी एस एन एल एंड भारती टेलीसोनिक सो आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज दिस एनी वे दिस टू मेन एयरटेल एंड टी वी एस एन एल आर हेयर द मेन अप स्ट्रीम ऑफ द टिकोना ब्रॉडबैंड हेयर यू कैन सी अगेन द सेम थिंग एंड दिस इज दिस वॉज द आई पी वी फोर ट्राफिक एंड दिस इज फॉर आई पी पी सिक्स सो आई पी पी सिक्स अगेन भारती एंड टाटा सो दिस बिग कंपनीज हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड इंटरनली आई पी पी सिक्स सो एनी वे नेक्स्ट गो टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग दिस इज द ग्राफ दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज योर टिकोना ब्रॉडबैंड एंड एंड अदर साइड ऑफ दिस टिकोना इन लेफ्ट साइड मे बी यू आर देयर सो राइट नाउ दिस ग्राफ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट this point okay your traffic already from here 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 reach to the local city isp right now you are this point so this point is this point your tikona broadband so when you hover the mouse the name will be coming here so tikona nevilet next there is the three gateway or upstream so this one is the bharti airtel and this one is the tata communication or vsnl so tata communication is not bsnl that is our mobile sim bsnl and this is i'm not talking about this this is vsnl so this is intermediate gateway so the main bolt arrow is the main gateway so they are using maximum traffic through airtel so next from here to here this is our main gateway from the country and then this is here you can see tata communication america so directly india to america they have the submarine cable so that's why india to usa or america the traffic will be very fast so that's why i said vsnl is very good comparing to other so next airtel also have there so you have reached us here at this point usa then from usa there is infrastructure is lot lot improved compared to india from usa they are mainly connecting to the all over the world so first of all they will go to the cognent this is the other top isp of other country upstream sells internet to the smaller isps but who sells internet to the tier 1 or the upstream company like vsnl nobody because the whole internet backbone of the internet of the world is being controlled and being managed by this tier 1 isp so they do not pay anyone or they do not buy internet from anyone they are the ultimate boss of the internet or the owner of the internet they only sells because they are the owner their cabling is for their their infrastructure is also the owner is there so from this video we knew that tier 1 isp is the big company tier 1 isp does not buy any internet from anywhere because they are the owner or the admin of that network whole over the world now come to the downstream this is basically the opposite thing now again one story i am to share the downstream is basically the our corporation water supply how or electric supply how first the water is being collected from ocean or river whatever or the underground water then in comes to the main city water pumping station then it sells to the all the local area and then all the water come to our every home so from bigger area to smaller area that is called downstream and from smaller area to bigger area that is called upstream many websites in india and all over the world getting blocked by isp who blocks them is the tier 1 or the upstream company or your smaller isp company it depends why it depends suppose if you are trying to access very big scam website or a very big websites that is a danger to the nation then this can be blocked by the tier 1 isp but smaller like copyright things or live sport illegal movies this kind of website does not block by the tier 1 isp because they are big companies 
they cannot handle the small small things and small the websites which is being blocked is by the local com operator like jio or any kind of local small isp not being blocked by the bigger isp bigger isp is for infrastructure or networking purpose smaller isp is managing all those things because a bigger isp cannot give you internet directly so that's all in this video i hope in this out of this video you have understood the concept of upstream and downstream what is tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 network and before ending the video i want to share one thing if you are want to be a new isp in your local area or state level then the li at only license costs 90000 indian rupees so you can understand if you want to make a bigger ISP in all over the India, you have to buy spectrum, etc, etc. So it's a very, very costly business and that's why the king is tier 1 ISP. That's all in this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do like this video, share this video, do subscribe to this channel to get more video of networking. Thanks a lot for watching this video.